G'day, I'm Alex and I'm the owner of Water Street Kitchen. Today we're going to be making sweet potato croquettes with our beautiful local sweet potatoes just from the hummock down the road. This would be the perfect breakfast. Uh, if someone made this for me on a Sunday, I'd be very happy. So first of all, we're going to peel the potato. Super easy. Grown in the beautiful red soil of the hummock. A lot of people don't like it because it stains their cars, but it grows some incredible produce. So we're just cutting these up. Doesn't matter how big, just some nice chunks for mash. Okay, so these potatoes have boiled. We've just given them a quick mash. Um, we're just gonna add a little bit of ginger. You can add anything you like. Sweet potatoes can take on any flavor. Ginger is one of my favorites. Um, some salt, and then mix that up. So we're gonna take this mash, form it into this cylinder shape. Okay, next step uh, is to crumb. So we're gonna go flour, egg wash, which I'll show you how to make bread crumb. It's egg wash, let's do two eggs. Milk. So just to keep them in that shape. We'll have one dry hand, one wet hand. Back to your dry hand. Just a panko crumb. Panko's a, a coarse Japanese breadcrumb. So the crumbing is done. Uh, we're gonna put some bacon in the oven to go with, and we'll poach an egg to go on top as well. To poach an egg, you just need a medium sized pot. Uh, bring it to a enthusiastic simmer. Then we're gonna add a little bit of vinegar. Just plain white vinegar. Uh, some people like to swirl the water. And eggs go in. And we'll leave that for two to three minutes, depending on the size of your eggs. Okay, eggs are ready. Very carefully scoop them out. And we just drop them onto a bit of tea towel or paper towel just to absorb that excess water. Uh, all right, so we'll fry these. We just use cottonseed oil. So we're gonna heat this to 180, 190. Place our croquettes in the basket. Little gap in between so they're not touching. And then drop them down. If they start touching, you just want them just to give them a bit of a shake. If they do touch, you'll, you'll end up with white spots on the crumb. And we're done. Just let them drip a little. Okay, our, bac our bacon's ready. Took about three minutes, 180. Um, so we roasted our bacon at 180 degrees, uh, just on a piece of baking paper. Separate the pieces out so they don't touch. Um, and that looks perfect. Okay, we're ready to assemble. Two croquettes per person. We rest the bacon on top. We go two pieces, two short, two short cuts like that. And one eye of bacon on top. And that helps to, as you'll see, hold the eggs in place. And to finish, just a little bit of fresh dill from a local herb farm uh, that we get from uh, North Bundy. Sweet potato croquettes, bacon, poached eggs, perfect Sunday breakfast.